It's November 9th, 2015. Happy Monday. Now, let's start the week off right with a truly energetic story and that really bad pun. I'm talking about the Wendelstein 7X, soon to be the world's largest nuclear fusion reactor, like by a lot. While Volkswagen was busy dealing with PR problems over its not-so-clean diesel vehicles, a bunch of German scientists were putting the finishing touches on a true marvel of engineering. It's taken 1.1 million construction hours over the course of 19 years to build the behemoth Stellarator, which uses 50 of these massive, twisty-looking six-ton magnets to control the process of what is basically the ramming together of atoms. Unlike conventional nuclear reactors, which split atoms apart, the reactor will superheat plasma to over 100 million degrees Fahrenheit, then those magnets will sort of channel the reaction, carefully routing it where it needs to be to create what we're sure will be well in excess of 1.21 gigawatts. It's basically like creating our own little piece of the sun, but in Germany. With government approval, the Stellarator will go online later this month. It took James Bond and Charlie Brown, believe it or not, to dethrone the Martian from its box office throne this weekend. The new Bond film, Spectre, pulled $73 million, which, added to its worldwide pull, puts it at $296.1 million so far. Meanwhile, The Peanuts Gang pulled in an impressive $45 million, and the family-friendly flick is expected to make even more as the holiday weekend approaches. Of course, when Star Wars The Force Awakens opens December 14th, chances are Bond and Brown's take-home pay will probably look like chump change in comparison. And finally, virtual reality is now in full effect at YouTube. Immersive 360-degree videos started posting earlier this year, but now there's a new theater mode which will let Google Cardboard owners enjoy any YouTube video in a sort of virtual theater environment. It's kind of a big boost for VR, which until now has struggled to take off in the mainstream. Now, with a folded cardboard box in your smartphone, you can start digging on VR from the comfort of your couch while you wait for Oculus and Samsung Gear VR to kick things up yet another notch. As always, you can read more about these stories and all the day's latest tech news at digitaltrends.com. That's it for DT Daily today. We'll see you again tomorrow.